Hello and welcome to the Daily Virtual Bible. I'm Robbie H and I am completely and utterly shattered as I record this. I could get into massive talk here by understanding what is working for God and being willing to do things when needed. But I think it better if we concentrate on reading God's word for this video. Why don't save that talk for my other channel though? Anyway, she's trying to make chapter 18 today. Let us open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you feel something new to me. I also ask that as people hear your word, they come to better understanding of you. Amen. The priests, the Levites, or the tribe of Levi, shall have no portion nor inheritance with Israel. They shall eat the offerings of Yahweh made by fire, and his portion. They shall have no inheritance among the brothers. Yahweh is their inheritance, as he has spoken to them. This shall be the priest's due from the people. From those who offer a sacrifice, whether it be ox or sheep, that they shall give to the priest the shoulder, the two cheeks, and the inner parts. The first fruits of your grain, of your new wine, and of your oil, and the first of the fleece of your sheep, you shall give him. For Yahweh your God has chosen him out of all your tribes, to stand to minister in Yahweh's name, him and his sons forever. If a Levite comes from any of your gates out of all of Israel, where he lives as a foreigner, and comes with all the desire of his soul to the place which Yahweh shall choose, then he shall minister in the name of Yahweh his God, as all his brothers the Levites do, who stand there before Yahweh. They shall have light portions to eat, in addition to that which comes from the sale of his family possessions. When you have come into the land which Yahweh your God gives you, you shall not learn to imitate the abominations of those nations. There shall not be found with you anyone who makes his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, one who uses divination, or one who practices sorcery, or an enchanter, or a sorcerer, or a charmer, or a consultant with a familiar spirit, or a wizard, or a necromancer. Whoever does these things is an abomination to Yahweh. Because of these abominations, Yahweh your God drives them out from before you. Ye shall be perfect with Yahweh your God. For these nations that ye shall remove, listen to those who practice sorcery, and to diviners. As for you, Yahweh your God has not allowed you to do so. Yahweh your God will rise up to you, a prophet from among you, of your prophets like me. Ye shall listen to him. This is according to all that you desired of Yahweh your God in Arab, in the day of the assembly, saying, let me not hear again Yahweh my God's voice. Never let me see this great fire any more, that I not die. Yahweh said to me, They have well said that which they have spoken. I rise them up a prophet from among their brothers. Like you, I will put my words in his mouth. And he shall speak to them all, that I shall command them. It shall happen, that whoever will not listen to my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. But the prophet who speaks a word presumptuously in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or who speaks in the name of other gods, that same prophet shall die. You may say in your heart, How shall we know the word which Yahweh has not spoken? When a prophet speaks in Yahweh's name, if the thing doesn't follow or happen, that is the thing which Yahweh has not spoken. The prophet has spoken it presumptuously. You shall not be afraid of him.